I have cracked the code. I think I have found the secret for this card that I have never discovered before, and I want to share it with each and every single one of you. Every single one of you. Every single one of you. For those of you guys out there that have not discovered this for yourself, or even if you do know about this, you guys a little bit know more insight about it. Last night, I was on YouTube, and I was just looking up for new video ideas and new ways of thinking in order to make these videos better for you guys. And what I ended up discovering for this car is that there's, there's actually an engineering mode that you can discover on this car for if it's a base model or if you even have a premium model. Of those of you guys that do know about this, you're probably already hopping your asses out of this video. But for those of you guys that don't know about this, I'm excited to show you guys something that I have no clue what I'm looking at. And the first thing you gotta do in order to discover this, okay, that just looks really weird that my steering wheel is upside down, but it has nothing to do with this video. So, actually it does, because this is gonna be real ass backwards. Oh fuck, I just locked it. Oh shit. Jesus. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you grab your key because obviously you can't do shit without a key for any car that you drive and you want to plug it in just like this and from there your car is going to make this annoying ass noise and from there all you're going to do is just click it over twice into the on position. Actually shit, I just completely lied. But you want to hold down the OK button and at the same time you want to click your key over in the on position two times over and from there you're going to be able to access engineering mode. Write that down, write that down! <laughs> The only way I'm going to be able to show you guys is if I put this camera in my mouth and it's going to be one of the weirdest things I've probably done for a video for you guys. So bear with me if it seems like a little crooked or ass backwards and you get my point. And one thing I just realized a second ago is you don't want to have your door open when you do this because for whatever reason it doesn't work if you have your door open. And from there this should pop up. There it goes. So it just took a second for me in order to do. And actually before we even go through first things first, I want to give you guys some good vibes while we're doing this. So we're going to turn on all the lights and give you guys some good looks. We're in gauge mode. You can control it through these little arrows right here in this OK button. And if you don't have this feature on a premium model, I believe you can just hold down the reset button. And if you have an OK button as well, you can kind of toggle through it like that. So in this feature, we're just going to be clicking OK and probably up or down from what I can remember. So as we're looking at it, you got the gauge test and this beautiful check engine light on. Because we're going to click the first one and I clicked OK. And it goes through this random colorful rainbow shit right Right here it goes through all the different colors it's probably just testing out to make sure that the, the LCDs inside there are working perfectly fine which it looks like it is and once you're done with that you can click the OK button and from there you go into just a bunch of random ass modes that I know nothing about but I'm pretty sure this one has something to do with lighting up my dash like a Christmas tree which kind of looks cool in a way but if I ran with that the entire time on my car and I was just driving that would drive me fucking nuts so we go into part numbers that I know nothing about then you go into ROM levels if you know what that is. It looks like the Nevermind ROM levels, but I know that's exactly what that doesn't mean. EEPROM, which I don't know anything about EEPROMs level. Manufacturer date, you got money sign, looks like Suicide Boys a little bit. A lot of this stuff you guys won't know, but I mean it's kind of fun to be able to kind of go through stuff in your car that you've never experienced it before. You got a bunch of random different little things as you're going through it. Manufacturer configuration, whatever that's supposed to mean. Vehicle speed, that's one that you guys might have fun with. Clicking OK, you got vehicle speed in kilometers. You also got your speedometer too. Your tachometer, where you can check your RPMs and everything like that. Tachometer, DC 102, probably just making sure that shit works. Fuel level one, I mean, I guess. Fuel gauge, um, I'm pretty sure that works. And if it didn't, I would have some problems. The instant DTE is pretty much how it sounds like without the DTE parks. I don't even know what the DTE stands for. Roast me in the comment section if you want to, if you know what that means. But 249 miles till empty, you pretty much can assume that's what it means. And 249 is actually a lucky number. And the reason why it's a lucky number, and you guys won't even guess this, but it's 249 miles until I don't have to fill up my car again, so. <laughs> Lucky me. Add on, off, and other numbers, random things, stuff for the dealership to deal with, not me. Cool and temp, if you don't know what that means, then you shouldn't be owning this car. Um, temp gauge, you got that, you got fail safe, cool mode, uh, odometer, zero, 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 hopefully that means something good. Tripometer, you guys know what that means. You got trip A, and I'm assuming trip B is gonna pop up, as you guys can see right here. Um, battery voltage, which is at 11.9. Run, start, sense, 
I don't know what the H stands for, but I have an H pipe on my car. A lot of you guys are probably gonna roast me in the comment section of this video saying I'm an idiot, how I don't know majority of this stuff. I really don't, and I really don't care. And then right, we're right back to gauge test. And it goes to show that's exactly what the gauges do, just to make sure all the gauges are working properly and it just spins right back to normal again. And if you're worried that your car won't start, don't worry, I was already worried before you were. You just take the key out, put it back in, and start the car. And you don't even have to do that, I just did it just cause. But since we already have the car running, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an exhaust clip because you guys deserve it if you guys stayed this far into the video. Here we go with the bad bitch. And that's just all my check engine light issue. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to know more about it, I am not the person to ask whatsoever because it clearly shows I don't know jack shit about that engineering mode. So ask somebody who actually knows what they're talking about. But other than that though, if you guys want to know more about that exhaust or just know more about the car, I'm going to have more videos pop up at the very end of this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next one.